Welcome to my tarot card reading for the month of April 2014. Um, this is the opening that we have for the reading. We have Babalu, we have Oshun, and we have the Outcast that for me is um, represent also Elegua. Um, I usually re um, inter um, interpret this, le uh, this card as promises or contracts and um, diseases. Notice that these two are giving each other the back. So technically speaking, what they are letting us know that there is going to be like a breakup of relationships. It could be international relationship. It could be business relationship. Worldwide, that's what you're going to see. Um, we could say a breach of contract. It transmit the idea that I want to reach out. Um, we, were, we are going to see um, allies that are getting mad to, with each other, technically speaking. That's what we're going to start seeing and experiencing during March. A lot of tension, a lot of animosity uh, between nations, technically speaking. That's what we are going to be seeing. We have to remember that Oshun is the goddess of the river, of water. Therefore, we could also see a lot of things related with water, especially diseases that are being carried in the water or on the water, okay? And also something related with hunger. This is it's closely related with water. So there is something related with water and highly probable more that fishes coming to the surface during April 2014. That's um, more or less the the tone of the reading for April. Let's keep going because the tower cards are going to keep adding more information to these um, three that I just um, mentioned. Okay, um, here we have the astrological tower cards representing the month of April. Uh, we have here the King of Swords representing Uranus and Saturn, the crown of Aquarius. And here we have the five of wands representing um, the sun and Leo. Um, first of all, I would like to mention about this particular one, the king of swords representing Uranus and Saturn. Saturn is about structure, hierarchy, um, order, uh, rigidity, uh, rigidity of being rigid, very structured, very organized. So Uranus is totally different. Uranus is, is a free spirit that wants to um, wander around, evolve, grow, etc., etc. So what we're seeing here is some kind of um, rebellion because Uranus also represents rebellions, um, riots or protests regarding established structures. That's more or less what we're seeing here. And we also have to take under consideration that during April, uh, Saturn and Uranus are going to make a 150 degree um, aspect astrologically speaking now I'm talking so it shows us the the dynamic that we are having here and it's very interesting to see that Uranus and Saturn is showing up here therefore we're going to start seeing a lot of riots protests and regarding structure established structures political um, government parties um, important figures, this kind of stuff we're going to start seeing. Not only um, the the people against the government, the, the establishment, but we could also see um, countries themselves against each other. We could say that, like a breach of contract, like I said. We could, we could talk about that uh, in that sense. We have the Sun and Leo, Five of Wands. Sun Leo is about creativity, but at the same time it's about um, 
bringing awareness towards us so the energy will start focusing in the people on the nation and people are going to start being aware because the number five is when we reach a different level of awareness we wake up and we start rebelling we want changes and we start getting um, going against the established structures okay that's more or less what the tarot cards are saying so far um, for April 2014 okay so we have already the opening the opening is talking about um, two forces that are like against each other a breach of contract um, groups parties that are like splitting separating they're not getting along um, like I said, a breach of contract, whatever it is, is related with relationship. Um, and at the same time, the targets are talking about rebellions and all this kind of stuff with the establishment. Now, the targer here are mentioning that the first week of April is closely related with um, is closely related with um, loads, a baggage. So the first week of April 2014 uh, is going to be very obvious about the the load, how heavy is the load, the debt, if we can say that. The load gets heavier and is obvious. People can feel it, they can see it, is out there to see. It's a debt, a load that we're talking about. By um, the second week, um, we have the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is letting us know that there's going to be confusion, technically speaking, confusion, and people will feel like they are um, attached or chained to something, and that something is that load, that baggage, that debt. It could be a political um, load, like in Venezuela or it could be economically whatever it is is a load and they're starting to feel attached to it and very very confused okay because it's a sword this means also there's a lot of thinking a lot of mental processes that are being activated but because it's upside down at the same time that those thoughts are at the moment they haven't been expressed they haven't been manifested outward outwardly it's just there in the mind at the moment by the third week is letting us know that the third week of april is going to f be full of action the people are going to take action um nations are going to take action it's about action what they're going to do it could be, it could be laws whatever it is, riots like i, I said protest etc etc but it's about action they're forced to take action <clears throat> and then we have on the last week of April the last week of April is the page of cups and the page of cups is um, upside down letting us know that there is a lot of um, emotions that are being repressed um, because cops are emotions, mo emotions, feelings that are being repressed, they are not being expressed. It's like a cook pressure, a pressure cooker, or whatever you want to call it, is bre um, brewing there. There's a lot of emotions that are like brewing there, so it's a time bomb. That's technically what they're saying, um, showing on here. At the same time, it also depicts a lot of confusion. It's like a passive aggressive situation. When we put together these um, horizontal lines and vertical lines, um, we have here a lot of repression, emotional, intellectual, mental, a lot of repression uh, and confusion. And then we put this together that are all this is tied up with the load that I'm talking about, the baggage, which is the debt, political load, whatever it is, is a load. And finally, it's going to push people to, to manifest, to act, 
That's technically what the Tarkers are saying. Life is forcing them to take action. And when we put them together, we create a, um, an existential vortex, like I call it, that is composed by the Knight of Swords, which also represents Aquarius, and the Three of, um, of Cups. And here, people are pushed into action. They start acting uh, abruptly, without thinking, without contemplation. They just jump in and they do it. Uh, I'm talking about people, but it could be also um, nations. And this is about groups. So it could mean that a lot of groups will start emerging. New groups, march, marches, etc., etc. Groups. Also, it could mean that there are going to be groups that are going to be disbanded, um, um, destroyed, whichever word you want to say, and also relationships are going to be broken with all this dynamic. That's more or less what the Tartars are mentioning for April 2014. Here we have um, what I call the trilogy. And the trilogy is composed of the Page of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the, and the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is talking about failure. That feeling that when we try, we try, and we can't accomplish anything. Um, failure. That, uh, that feeling of, of, of failure that a companion one person when they do something and it doesn't work out. And here we have the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is talking about projects that are being initiated, um, new projects, but they're not going um, to be successful because there's going, they're going to fail. Whatever project is going to be initiated, whatever project is not going to work, is um, doomed to fail. Okay, that's what the Tarkers are saying. At the same time, is letting us know that all these projects that are not working are creating a lot of confusion, a lot of anger, that some way, somehow, is going to explode and become obviously manifested some way, somehow. People are are are, are tired, are confused. They're, 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 about all these failures, these projects, lots, etc. We have here also the Nine of Cups with the Ten of Staff. The Nine of Cups and the Ten of Staff. The Ten of Staff is the, the Ten. It's about um, independent principle, uh, independence. But this is a load, like I said. And here, people are start is letting us know that during the month of April, people and more people will start expressing their feelings and their emotions that have been repressed, like I said. They're going to start expressing them regarding this, this load. Obviously, we're talking about the external debt that many countries have, and not only external, also internal debt, and also political loads, and all this dynamic that we are seeing, and we have seen so far, people are going to start voicing out, they're going to express what they feel during April 2014. Here we have the Nine of, of Staff, and the Nine of Staff we have this person that is like on guard, looking over his shoulder like, I don't want this staff to fall on, up on me because if you notice he has a bandage on his head, like he has been injured, so he doesn't trust, there's trust issues here. So what we have here is trust issues and these trust issues make people to be on the defensive or the offensive mode. Therefore, is going to push people or nations to take action. Okay? And that's why I talk about riots and protests, marches, marches, etc. where relationships are going to be broken or going to be um, harmed some way, somehow, um, nation from nation, or a relation between people and the government. That's what we're talking about. And we're going to start seeing mobilization of um, tanks, 
weapons, whatever it is, mobilizations uh, to defend borders. Border defense. We're going to start seeing that during the mon uh, month of April 2014. Um, something more interesting that we have here is that we have one, two, three swords. We have one, two, three cups. Three and three. And then we have three staff. So we are seeing here a very interesting dynamic. Number three is about expansion, growth. And we're going to start seeing all this move movement that I explained that is going to be expanding and growing more and more and more. And cops, air, water, air, emotions, feelings, the mind, they're, they're going to have a very interesting mix. And then we have fire, the stuff. So this is a very interesting dynamic that we have here of elements that they match and they don't match with each other. So it's a, it's a very interesting energy, chaotic, we could say chaotic, um, an energy that give rise to many things. Because we have air that brings the fire more, uh, brings the fire to... to um, makes it stronger but then we have the water that is trying to turn off the fire so this is a very interesting dynamic about control okay about control power control all this kind of stuff okay this is the last portion of the tarot card reading and we have the four of swords the ten of cups and we have the emperor saint constantine and what we have here the story of Sam Constantine, Constance, we know it, that he's, he had a, a vision and blah, blah, blah. The Ten of Coins, it represents when Jesus said um, to let the kids, the children, come to him because the kingdom of heaven belongs to people that are all like children. And, but at the same time, it also could represent a family, a group. Therefore, what we have here is a very interesting dynamic. We have here the Four of Swords upside down. So we have energy that is flowing, but this energy is, um, is hiding. This energy is um, being up, uh, upheld. It's having, it hasn't been manifested. This, like I said before, is, uh, is a time bomb is uh, kicking, it's sticking, and it's a pressure cooker. That's the kind of energy. It's just a lot of pressure there, and it has to be manifested. That's what technically is saying. But then we have this kind of energy of, of group that is going to start manifesting, and they're going to start bringing changes, because the emperor is about changing, restructure, restructuring. And we mentioned that here on Saturn Uranus, a lot of changes, a lot of structural changes. So we're going to start seeing grassroots, we could say that, groups, and we have seen this in Greece with the neo-Nazi, and more groups like this are going to emerge asking for change. They're going to start manifesting. I won't be surprised if there is someone big, a leader, whatever it is, that will lead the people it will create a group and will lead the people like Constantine to some kind of revolution, change, or will promise something big. I won't be surprised if that happens during April 2014. And like I said in Spanish version, um, there's going to be also uh, secrets, a lot of stuff related with people that might come out um, out of the light. Because this also could mean things that are hidden. I forgot to mention this. Things that are hidden that are, are going to fail. So any project that the government or any institution has, like the Catholic Church, to hide any truth is going to fail. It's not to going to work out. Okay? And that's my April 2000, um, 2014 reading. Have a wonderful April.